There's all kinds of things you're not supposed to do. Should you eat it or should you not? We're talking about first dates next on KillTheOn.com. This is the part. Age is darkest. And welcome to KillTheOn.com. Because all the fun is gone doesn't mean you don't need to kill the yawn. Come on in here and set a spell. Grab yourself a drink. Grab yourself a chow. Grab yourself any damn dope thing you want at all. Because here at KillTheYawn.com, we are cutting through your damn dumb boredom, and we are going to take care of all of your boredom needs on KillTheYawn.com. Today, we are talking about the do's and the don'ts, mainly the don'ts, of the first dates. Now, it's been a long time. I've been married for quite a while this last time. So, it's been a long time since I've had me a first date. Are you getting antsy? This is, this is probably, it's been one of the longest ones ever. Well, one of the longest ones. Me and Susie, we've been married. We're getting ready to celebrate our fourth damn dough anniversary. And normally, that, that you know what, that's... That's this is your longest one, isn't it? Well, no, I use I make it five years. I've been married three times. I usually make it five years, but the fifth year is spent in divorce court where the judge is partying up all my shit. Double coupon day. So, I mean, I guess we still could add that way. But Susie, you know, she kind of, she, Susie, I tell you what, out of all three, Susie is damn near the craziest. And that, I think, is why it works. That's why you're making it. Because why when, you're making it. When, when you are me and you're a grown man that everybody calls pork, you kind of need a crazy girl. I think I'm pretty screwed if I'm trying to find a girl to match my crazy. I don't think it can be done. Well, they're called prostitutes. I mean, yeah, but man. that, man, that's easy. That's matching well, a dollar. You know that's a dollar amount. The first date, I remember, you're all nervous, you know, should you get the girl flowers, you show up, you know, do you come early, do you show, do you come a little late just to show them, that, you know, Or do you come you know? before you see them? That That's one, too. Well, that's what you do, you usually uh, just shoot it on your they, Well, they, they say the best way to go on a date is empty out the well, cylinder. you know, things have changed so damn damn much, you know, and, and it changes every year. And I blame, you know, I blame social media because used to, in order to ask a girl out, we, you know, we would have to either go to her or we would use the phone. And then, you know, you'd be calling your little girlfriend and be oh. like, hey, and I'd be on the other end of the line, you know, you know, making fart noises, you know, and shit like that. It's true. You know, and... But now, you could just send a text message being like, hey, do you want to go out next Saturday? And do you think that's an advantage or do you think that's that's a disadvantage? I think it's a disadvantage because it lets them think too much. And you, you don't get you don't really get to know the person because they've had 10, 15 minutes in between texts to sound the smoothest. I would rather kind of have that improv and know what's really behind. Well, you know, but, but I think with the text message, and, and you know what, the text message has been out for long enough now that I have used the text message with, you know, with the dating situation. One don't, have you ever done this? Really getting to know, you're doing the texting, and you just decide to get crazy and send a picture of your dick or something. <laughs> and then you're all waiting, and you're, and like, you're like, oh, oh shit. Then you're all waiting, and then you, then you like go like ten minutes, and you don't know what else to do. So all of a sudden, you just get the you hit the L O L J K. Like, like how would you do? You know what? Every now and then, I'm like, you're just kidding. You just sent a picture of your job. I did that once, and I pretended I was at a party, and one of my friends said, "I'm so sorry," <laughs> because I figured she wouldn't know until she saw my dick anyway. Well, you know, and then that's another thing about text messaging that does make it hard because when you're talking to a girl, you can, you know, when you're talking to her on the phone, and you hear her actual voice. Well, you can tell on her tone. Right. You can tell she's digging you or not digging you, but a text message, I mean, it could be like, okay, yeah. cool, and that could be men as, okay, cool. Or, you know? or it could or be like, okay, cool, cool, you know? Or it could be, cool. Or it could be know? like, I'm going to eat that, cool. So right. you have no damn no idea. And, you know, one of my favorite first date stories, one of my favorite first date stories comes from my buddy, the caveman, God rest his damn dough, so... This was a, one of the greatest stories ever. He takes this girl out that he met on a dating site. So he takes her out to a movie. And I forget what damn no movie, but that's not important. So they're watching this movie. He goes and he gets him a... He goes and he gets him a couple drinks and a popcorn bucket. And he comes back. Well, so he's sitting through and, you know, and she's kind of got his hand on his leg. So he takes that as a sign, as a green sign, as go. So he goes ahead. When she gets up and goes to the bathroom... He pulls out his pocket. Now, this is a true story. And I know it's an herbal legend. This is a true damn story. He cut out a hole in the popcorn bucket. If you bucket. knew him, you would know it's true. He cut out a hole in the popcorn bucket and snaked his dick through the popcorn. So now he's got the popcorn bucket sitting on his lap with his dick inside it. She comes back. 
she eats a few more. Finally, she gets down closer. I don't know how far. She probably had to go way down in the bottom. But she finally, she touched his dick, and she realized that she was all shocked and shit. She hit the son of a bitch and walked out, and he drove her. She didn't even have a car, and he never seen that son of a bitch again. That's crazy. But it's a good damn old story. Uh, with, with popcorn, with the, the butter and stuff, would it make you itchy? I mean, would you have popcorn truck? I don't know. I don't know. He probably he probably finished. I mean, the bad thing is, is he finished the popcorn. But, I'm sure know, he did. I'm I mean, sure he did. You know, I mean, that, that's... The bad funny. thing is, he probably bought it home to you in a Ziploc you bag know, and I, you finished what, what, it. Think what, about it. Am I wrong? Am well, I wrong? we did. We were single last year every damn old day. Hey, popcorn popcorn and nobody's going to waste it. <laughs> So, you got any stories like that? Any kind of first date stories, you know? Well, I, I've, I've obviously, I've obviously done the picture, you know, you get talking dirty and you think, and you, the girl's joking because she, you know, she's uncomfortable, so she doesn't joke, and you take it as, fuck yeah, let's do it. You take it as the green light, right? And I, and I have tend, lately, especially after divorce, I've tended to date a lot more of a crazier, wilder girl. So I've got used to being crazier and wilder than ever before. So I've made a lot of mistakes assuming that I'm with the crowd that I feel comfortable in. Remember that one old buddy we had with your old roommate that he believed that if he could get a girl to drink from his soda, he could he could Then have it was the her. same as her wanting to be a part of his... Uh, but you know what? I mean, as much he as I... He proved, he proved the theory. Now, I don't know if that works in all cases, but he had a soda, and she was thirsty, and he said, here, take a drink of mine, and she drank from the straw. And next thing you know, about 45 minutes later, they, she was drinking from his straw. They, like, you know really? I mean. Like, she got the whole Slurpee. So, so, there's all kinds of, you know, versus, versus dates, do's and don'ts, and, you know, and I've been around more times than what I should be, and one of the things that I've done on a first date, me personally, is I've used a coupon. See, now, I've never done that. I, I think that's a don't. It was buy one, get one free entree at Red Lobster. But then, I don't know, you get the right girl that thinks that's thrifty, and she sees you as a more of a, a stable thing, maybe. Well, it used to, it, depending on what your ticket was, you could pretty much you could pretty much decide whether or not you were going to get laid, you know, like if she what she ordered. You know, like if she ordered like a $20 entree, you knew you were going to get something. She ordered like 15 you were at least going to get a, you know, at least get a BJ in the back seat. Oh, yeah. Now... With this, with all the stuff that's going on with women, and they're all, you know, they're 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 basically completely independent, more independent than the guys, in a lot of damn dope times. They'll just pay for their own shit and tell you to go spank. That is, that is true. Have you ever have you ever been on a date and let the girl buy? No, I never have. I wouldn't I never do that. Seen. I mean, that's but but you know, me and you, we were cut from the same damn dope cloth, and and I've seen that happen before. You know, I've got another friend that he believed in going Dutch. You know, he would say, "You pay for yours, I pay for mine." That way, there's no expectations, and if you want to put out the poon tang after it's over, then you can put out the poon tang. But maybe you do it as an incentive. You want me to buy your dinner next? Time. I will say one. Thing. Maybe you should do me. You know, as as much as. Married life sucks in a lot of damn dope ways. The one thing that I do like about married life is the consistency. I'm very consistent the now. The consistency of not getting any? The consistency, basically, <laughs> not getting no boom dang, but also not having to do shit either. You know, because now, you, I don't have to go to the Red Lobster. I take Susie that Golden Corral, and they got that chocolate fountain, and I use like a buy one, get one free. See, I will say, you got to pull up, when you're dating, you got to pull out all this stuff. You're always trying to go overpriced steak and shrimp. I took Susie, like our that. first date, my, my first date with Susie was to the gas station, and we got a piece of pizza and a 20 ounce bottle of soda. And you closed the deal on that and shit. I closed the deal because I have personality, and that's really all. And what's going to kill you guys? Susie's hot. Susie is a good looking girl. She's and crazy. that is crazy the one as thing. a burrito on a taco platter. That's good. That sounds pretty good. She's, she's just as tasty as a burrito on a taco platter. I like that too. Anyways, though, I will say one thing. Let me be your champion. All you fat fucks out there, let me be your champion because I am living damn no proof that you can get you a hot girl if you've got a good personality, if you're funny, if you can make the ladies laugh a little, make them chuckle, and the next thing you know, they'll be tickling your buckle. Oh. Uh, Have you ever just flat out said, "Hey, our, you know, how serious is this going to get?" I've, I've done that before. Well, you also had a friend. We 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 got so many damn no people. Well, you also had a friend. And, you know, no names. But, remember, he would go around. Like, he cut out the middleman. He would just go around. Want to fuck? Ask. Yeah, you want to fuck? He believed in the numbers. And and you know what? He believed that if you asked 20 people, you had maybe uh, 
15 losses. Sometimes they were hot. They weren't always hot. No. And he, he was a equal opportunity fucker. So, I mean, like, he'd go down the list from, you know, horse face to butter face to gorgeous. And sometimes, sometimes if he was lazy, he just started with the butter face. Yeah. And, you know, and I've been there. And, and I mean, like, he'd start with, the, like, he wanted to hit the good numbers. Like, he's doing his own telemarketing. So, he'd go with the loaded ones first. Well, and the main thing is, you know, and, and please leave down in the description, as always you do, interact with us. Let us know about some of your first dates and let us know about some of the, you know, you ladies, let us know about some of the horrible things that have happened to you on your first dates. What's and the biggest fail? That's what I want to know. Give me your biggest, most epic fail. I'd you say, tried something different and it, went, say, and it went awry. You know, there's been a couple times where, you know, where, where I took a girl out and the, the waitress was really hot and kind of flirting around. I flirted with the waitress right in front of the girl and I probably shouldn't have. You know. I actually one time got a girl roses and perfume. It ended up getting the kind of perfume that her ex husband had got her. That was I mean, why would you buy cheap perfume anyway know, on you know, the first date? I mean, I mean wanna, that's creepy. You wanna know the truth? I was working at a place and I and I had and I went and it was on sale and I knew it was an expensive. So no, you five no, I bought you. No, I bought it. I, mean, I don't steal, but I but I mean I got it cheap. Yeah, total epic fail. Cents. Well, you, that, you don't know when you worked at the dollar store. And then <laughs> the Anyways, guys, it all boils down to one thing that our mom has told us. Be nice to the damned old ladies, and they'll be nice to you. Put your best foot damned old forward, take care of the ladies, and the ladies will take care My of you. My mom always told me that if I was going to hang out with the poke cats, I was going to smell like the poke cats. I still don't want that bitch. She used to always say that. She'd be like, you don't hang out with the poke cats, don't smell like them. I'd be all dressed and colonied up, and she'd ask me, are you going to try to get you some gravel? What the fuck does that mean? I don't even know what gravel means to you, Mom. I mean, damn, Dad can't get no gravel. Anyways, guys. Just take care of each other, and everything else will work itself out. Go over to KillTheYawn.com. And remember, when all the fun is gone, you still gotta kill that damned old yawn. Ooh. Like, favorite, subscribe, and until next time, we will see you real soon.